here we are at the Missouri Speed Golf Open 2020, where I had the pleasure of riding and running alongside Scott Dolly in his second round. When we last left off, Scott had finished up on hole nine with a tap in par, shooting 35 in just over 20 minutes. So we are chasing him through the parking lot to hole number 10, par three, about 160. Good ball. Get up there. His approach shot comes up just a little bit short. Again, if you are interested in speed golf, check out speedgolfusa.com. All kinds of speed golf information. Speedgolfusa.com. If you're looking for a course near you, check out playspeedgolf.com. Adding new courses all the time. Go oh, back there, get back there. He put a pretty solid chip on it. But unfortunately, just just missed the cleanup putt. So start off with a, a pretty disappointing bogey in the back. But now you do a quick transition. Forget about the shot. Think about placing the next tee shot in the perfect spot. Little short par four, slight bend to the right. Shot. And he just absolutely blasts the driver. He gets down inside 70, 75 yards or so. Now that I have four rounds of competitive play under my belt, there is definitely a balance unique to each individual person on how fast you can go and how controlled you need to try and stay to make quality golf shots and try to be as efficient as possible. It can be more efficient to play a couple seconds slower and put your drive and play and your approach on the green than it is to make up a stroke or extra seconds for extra shots. Get up there. Go. As soon as he hits this approach shot, he knows it's short. Never quite gave it enough to get back to the hole. Nonetheless, he's still got a 20, 25 footer for birdie. Easy. Hit it. Oh, just the right. It won't tap in bar. Ends up just missing the birdie putt. Tap in par. Hole number 12. Par 3. About 140. Nice little knockdown 8 iron. Down. Check. Scott threw a pretty good dart into the screen. About 12 or 13 feet out. We have to give a big congratulations to Nick Gooden for playing two spectacular rounds of golf and just bombing in an 18 footer on the 36th hole to win not by a stroke, but by only 26 seconds. He misses that putt or runs just a couple seconds slower one day and he takes second so congratulations to both of you guys for for playing spectacular golf
glad I could be a part of it. Hang it, man. I'm like so close. Yeah, three or four of them. And just hanging right on the edge. But just tap it in, move on, because there's nothing else you can do about it. Par five coming up, number 13. It's only about 470 yards. Just blast a driver out there. Wide open minus the little bunker up there on the left side, which unfortunately Scott runs into. <laughs> Another statistic for the weekend. Garrett had the fastest run time of 41.17 on day two. He was just playing with two clubs, trying it out, beating Scott by a little over a minute and the rest of us by two or three minutes. Next year, it'd be exciting to see if anybody can do 37, 38 minutes. See how, see how low we can really go. Shoot somewhere around par, even par 70, and maybe break the world record of 108.56. It's definitely possible out there if there's good conditions that weekend. We might see it, so stay tuned. Speed Golf 2021 is going to be an interesting year. A little bit on the upslope, but just make good solid contact with the 8-iron. Blast it on up there close to the green. I got you. <laughs> yep. Camera guy pulling double duty. We want to thank Garrett and Shannon Holt for hosting and coordinating again, putting the entire event together. Also the grounds crew for a fantastic looking course. The greens to me were rolling beautifully. So good job for those guys. I know this this summer was kind of a, a dry summer in the, in the Midwest. Also want to give a big thanks to the volunteers who without none of this would be possible. And of course the sponsors, Fast Signs. So thanks to everybody for putting all of this, this entire event together. A successful weekend. This pitch wasn't bad. Rolled out just a little bit more than he would have liked. Track it in. Good birdie. <laughs> nice. Still gets up there and bombs in a nice putt. A solid birdie. Back to even par for the round. Move on to hole 14. Keeping up the pace. Piked it right down the middle. Here's a really interesting finish for this golf course. We finished with five straight par fours, all roughly about the same yardage, back to back to back to back. So here's the first one, 14, about 390. So just get the driver in, keep the driver in play. You'll have a, a, about 100 yards out. The only real trouble is uh, self inflicted. Keep your head down and swing through the shot, that's for sure. That's what I keep telling myself over and over again when you get further into the round. Hole 13, 14. 
and you're really starting to push it. Put a nice solid swing on the ball. Shot. Put the approach shot right up there, nice. Leaves it about 18, 20 feet to the right. Pretty decent look at birdie. The putt doesn't quite break down to the right. Four. But another tap in four. Still even for the round. Move on quick to 15. Just over 400 yard par four. Scott's drive off 15, straight, straight a little bit left. There were a couple of little bush trees over on that side, and we couldn't quite find it at first. That's because it bounced off of one. Stopped shorter than what we thought it did. That's kind of how they're judging most of these courses. It's right around a seven minute mile pace and add three minutes for shots in between the, the mile. Scott was definitely killing it on the front nine there. The 194 yards per minute average, is, that's definitely under par for the pacing. But like you said, I, I, think, I think if you add about three minutes per mile, no. For the shots to stop and shoot. I got it. Hit that tree. So Scott ends up a little bit behind the shrub. But he still digs the eight iron up and over that, no problem. Ah, get a good kick. Kick. Just leaves it out left, a little bit long left. Can we give a shout out to the microphone manufacturers? They pick up ambient sound like a boss. Incredible. Roll, roll, roll. Wow, that was the worst kick I've ever seen. That was a pretty bad kick. Has a 12 or 15 footer for par instead of 3 or 4 footer for par. So he just misses it for a bogey. All right, we'll clean up that mess. Off to 16. So now he's one over for the round. Still trying to just maintain the pace. Let that last shot go and blast it out there. It was only 380. So we'd definitely like to be within a hundred yards here. Turn over just a little. Good shot. Still 35 minutes in. Only one over. And a heck of a round going. Even though some of those putts just didn't fall in.
this course is ideal. If we can find like 12 of these golf courses around the country. Right, and just that's play the way to do it. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that way you get the biggest like bang for your buck. For yeah. Being able to show that. Yes. To be able to show that. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Anything, anything under 125 is just anything pretty stellar. Yeah, and definitely under 120 yeah. is top notch. Yeah, so. anything under 120 is like a, it's like shooting, you know. You're only a, yeah. It, it definitely felt like it to me yesterday. Leaves himself in perfect position out there in the middle of the fairway. About 95 out. Come off that ridge. Yeah, there it is. Right off the ridge. Shot, Scott. Puts a superb swing on it. Putting himself in about, again, 12 foot range, somewhere in there. Perfect scoring position right there. And barely misses the putt. Another tap in par. So on to 17. A little, little bend to the left of the fairway, slightly downhill. Probably one of his best drives of the day. Just an absolute bomb down the middle. We'll just have to see over time if we can get it down closer to 100. Imagine a day when somebody's thinking about breaking 100. Well, we need to get Bernardo the guy, you know, give him some lessons yeah, and make him shoot right. 75 or 80, right. and he runs it in 25 yeah. or something stupid. That's asking a lot to be able to do that. But, but you know, hey, Olympians, what do they do? That's what, that's what they do for a living. They wake up every day and they go train mm -hmm. specifically for their sport. Right. Well, we don't have that yet. All of us have different jobs and things right. we're out doing. We don't practice every day. We come out here and just, you know, produce this. Yeah. Specifically training and getting their diet right and their right. training regimen right and having a team around them. Something like breaking 100 is possible. Yeah, yeah imagine breaking 100, but that includes yeah. your score and your time. That's ridiculous. What a bomb. <laughs> Threw a little extra into that drive. <laughs> Take some off from the white teeth. About 60 yards out. You definitely want to try to put this within 10 or 12 feet. Bite. It doesn't quite spin, rolls out just a little bit. Right there on the back edge. Gooses that first putt just a little bit. Oh. Course robbed him. Other camera guy. <laughs> Jeremy out here playing the other camera guy. Hole 18, last hole. Finish up strong. Slight bend to the left. Aim for that tower out there, it's a little bit of a blind shot, but again, 
It's only 360, 370 yard hole, even from back here. Good shot. Scott blasted another drive right down the middle of the fairway. We think 42 is fast now here, but eventually it'll be 36, 36 37. Yeah, and you get a guy like Hawk out here, yeah. he's not running in 42, he's running in 39. Yeah, if you guys are able to push, if he shoots even par at, at 38, minutes, which he could do, yeah. he oh, yeah, he could totally shoot yeah. even more. Jamie Reed would definitely, yeah. Well, Jamie, here, but I mean, realistically, oh, next year, you gotta get Jason here. <laughs> Left himself 55 yards, 60 yards out or so. Get up there. Just short left. Slightly uphill, 12 footer. Give him one. <sighs> Good run, man. That was the worst 74 out of 72 I ever shot. Yeah. Whew, man. So many of them right there on the lip. Uh, four or five of them. And bogey. That could have been special. Yeah, I could have. Oh well. <sighs> good job. That was... was a good training for US champs next month. Uh-huh. Gotta work a lot more on the putting. Uh-huh. Kind of short game really. Yeah. The yeah, drives were phenomenal. Drives worked out good today. Mm -hmm. I just kind of freed that up and irons could have been more crisp on a couple holes, but yeah. you're still still pretty good. I'm Small okay. greens too, yeah. so. Yeah, I'm okay with some of the irons being poor, but that, you know, bad chips that result in bogeys is You're right. not cool. Even at 42-26. 42-26. Nice. Hey. <laughs> That's fast. Hey. Here we go. Front, you came around at 20 and 22. 22. Well, I could have played it a lot better. Yep. You could have seen a I, world record there. That would, I mean, yeah, 108's the record, right? 66 and 42, that would have been it. What was it, seconds? 26. Yeah, that was it. You could have, oh man. I know that sounds funny to say if I'd have made six putts, but I mean. They were. They were so close. close. Yeah. Just like bing, they bing, were bing, so bing. close. Right. It takes a while of like pushing yourself and then finding an excuse to give up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you just try to go another extra hole in the next tournament, another, and then you realize just be through, just be in the pain for the rest of the round. Right. <laughs> right. Especially once yeah. you turn to 14, 15. Yeah. And it gets less than a mile it's at this point. Miles, so just push it. It's, uh -huh. it's painful. It hurts everywhere. And then you're done. And, and then now you're it doesn't hurt anymore. Said, you know? <laughs> and then it and doesn't hurt. <laughs> the other thing that does is it's, you really can't focus on mechanics or anything like that because you're so, you just want to take the next step mm -hmm. that you get up to the ball and it's like, where's the target? You know, and then you just try to put the best swing on it. That's, that's right. the, the attitude that works best. It's not, I've got to do this to do that. It's just put a good swing on here. Just give it a good, nice swing. Well, good job, Scott. Good round, man. Thanks for following. Absolutely. I ran most of it with yeah. you, so. Well, that's a, full, that's a full round, so. Yeah. I think for anybody that wants to see what's, you know, possible, not that that is like the ultimate, but like, mm. that, was an, that was an easy two over par, uh -huh. you know what I mean? You didn't have really struggles yeah, a anywhere. Rate, a heart rate up at 175 beats a minute for 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. You can hit solid drives, you can hit good irons, you can putt really good, not taking that much time. Right. And just to see it, you know, back to back, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing the full 40 minutes. Absolutely. Getting that up on YouTube. Absolutely. SpeedGolf.com. Speed golf, baby! Let's go!